When Two Ex Chicago Singers Meet, Peter Cetera and Jeff Coffey. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Well, it's Jeff Coffey week. Keep in mind, 1 p.m. Central all this week, we'll be talking to Jeff about his brand new album, Origins. He's releasing one song a month, Back on My Feet Again. The song we premiered yesterday is a delicious cover of the baby's hit. I think we all remember when Peter Cetera left Chicago. It was a shock in the 80s when he left. He was replaced by Jason Sheff, and Jason was replaced by Jeff Coffey in 2016. Jeff stayed till 2018. He already had met Jason because Jason was there at the auditions when he was auditioning for Chicago. But he hadn't met Peter Cetera until a few months ago. All right. Jeff Coffey meets Peter Cetera. You put a picture up, didn't you? I I remember correctly. Yeah. So... I mean, he does, he knew who you were. Peter? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, I don't even know if he follows Chicago because it's another world. It's like you. It's another world. I'm sure you don't yeah. read the Chicago headlines because you're not in that band anymore. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, there's still there's still a lot of conversation on some of those sites. Um, the, the, my name pulled in there, here and there. You know, so I, I see some of that stuff. But, but yeah, I mean, um, that's a good point. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm sure... Uh, Casually, he keeps up, you know, with those guys. Um, but he's he's very he was very busy. You know, he's touring, uh, not touring anymore. I think he's working on some new music. Yeah. Um, but what was uh, it like meeting him? Ah, uh, it was. I wish I could have had more time. You know, um, it was great because we went to the show. Um, ironically, he was playing at the Parks Casino uh, up there in Philly, which is um, the last public performance of Tris and myself with Chicago. Uh, at the same place. So, but it was great meeting him. There were obviously a lot of Chicago fans in the audience and a lot of people were, uh, you know, greeting me and, you know, talking. And it was, it was great, you know, it was great to see those people. Um, But then afterwards we went back and met Peter. um, And I I tell you, I mean, uh, I, I grew up with his voice, you know, and I, I told him, I said, you know, obviously we talked a little bit about Chicago, you know, we talked a little bit about biz, you know, and, and um, uh, he still sounds great, you know. And uh, I told him, I said, um, uh, God, I would love to just sit down, you know, with a glass of wine or something, just pick your ear about the business and talk. And he says, we'll do that next time. So hopefully uh, we'll get to meet again and, you know, do that. That would be cool. Well, you know, that when you said that people, and of course, I, I wouldn't have thought of it until you said it, but it makes sense. Of course, there were Chicago fans in there, and of course, they would know who you are. But that's a, not a nice inclusion, too. I mean, you know, you're just a guy, too. I mean, like it's like Peter Cetera is just a guy. But when someone comes up to you and say, oh, I reckon you from being part of this club, which is cool, this family. Yeah. You know, it's really difficult when you, uh, because I hadn't been in that situation for many years, you know, I mean, so it was kind of a new thing for me. And I went to the show just wanting to go and see Peter Zatera, see a show, because I had not seen him live yet. But the instant we walked into the room, uh, people were like, what, what? that's Jeff Coffey, that, you know. So you forget, oh, oh, uh, yeah, that's that, you know. And and, um, and then it was a different, <laughs> different thing that, you know, we sat down in the second row and people were like, well, you know, it, it's weird for me to, to think that way because I'm just a guy, you know, and I'm just a guy who loves music. I'm here for the same reason you are. I want to see this guy but sing. But that's pretty validating, though. That's pretty damn validating. Well, it felt good to know that people enjoyed what I did when I was there for that short period of time, you know, and that was very validating. Yes. Yeah. Because I love that music as much as they do, you know, and it was a complete honor for me to like I said, sing that stuff and, and, and do my best on it, you know, uh, that I could. And, and they, they appreciated it, you know, and yeah, I, I had some really big shoes to fill, uh, in that band, you know, first Peter Cetera, uh, and then Jason Chef. Jason was there for 31 years, you know, and those fans are really loyal to that music and that band. And um, so it was very validating to know that um, they were appreciating what I did, you know. But, yeah, it was weird to walk into that bubble, if you will. That's (laughs) surreal. I wasn't expecting that, you know, but it was very, very nice. You know, people were very nice. Tell me about the the recording process of, of the tunes. Is there anything you can share with me? 
Well, uh, we're working with uh, Rex Schnelli in Nashville. And uh, basically on a lot of these uh, initial tunes, uh, he, he built the tracks, you know, and, uh, and I came in and sang them, did some backgrounds, and uh, we put it together, we mixed it together, and, uh, and so far I'm loving the, uh, how it's turned out. Mm-hmm. There's some other tunes that we're going to do, we're actually going to do uh, with some different musicians, and um, so I got some cool surprises coming up for people, guest, guest appearances. And, um, uh, so yeah, it's, it's been a fun process so far. It really has. Are you going to be releasing one song at a time? Our goal is to try to do, um, basically that we're going to release one song a month. Mm-hmm. And then some of the songs, some of the songs are going to have videos. So I believe the next one that we're doing, um, it's going to be, uh, uh well, we're going to be working with, uh, Michael Lamardian and we're going to do, we're going to basically base the studio time around the video. So uh, or the video around the studio time. Okay. So yeah, that's going to be a cool, uh, a cool thing. Go to Jeff Coffee Music on Facebook, and you'll find all things that are Jeff Coffee. He has a a great relationship with his fans, where he talks, um, he FaceTimes an awful lot, and gives you updates on his career, concerts. He shares pictures of his family, which is really nice. So Jeff Coffee Music on Facebook. And it's Jeff Coffee Week, so all this week at 1 p.m. Central, Jeff will join us and we'll talk about his career, the new album, inspirations. And coming up tomorrow, he'll reflect again, because he already did this with us, but a little time has gone by, on leaving Chicago and how he feels about the whole experience now. You'll want to check this out coming up tomorrow. Remember, Jeff Coffee Music on Facebook and go to our website anytime at rockhistorymusic.com. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.